The Spirant Automotive COMTT solution is a universal test platform for in-vehicle communication simulation and testing. It combines different physical layer technologies on the hardware side with industry-proven software tools for full simulation. This all-in-one solution for automotive testing is a lightweight and portable device available for a small budget. It contains all current automotive interfaces with built-in conformance test suites. Users can perform multiple test methodologies like switch and network protocol conformance testing, performance testing, and functional testing. In this video, I will provide an overview of the solution, three use cases, and explain the content of the test packages. Automotive Com TT's key features include four SFP modules on 100 and 1000 base T1 and TX interfaces, 16 CAN FD channels for additional CAN control, and LIN interfaces for further LIN bus control. For conformance testing, we provide open TC8 and AutoSAR conformance test suites, which are based on the test automation platform TT Workbench for development and test execution. Spirant Test Center Virtual is pre-installed and can be used for performance and functional testing. Let's take a look at the use cases. First, let's explore the conformance test solutions, which are available in TT Workbench running on ComTT. They're used to test Layer 3 to Layer 7 automotive Ethernet communication. You can also check CAN communication interaction with Ethernet traffic. TT Workbench is used to run predefined test cases implemented in the standardized test specification language, TTCN3, for conformance behavior. The CAN plugin, as a TT Workbench extension, can be used to monitor and generate CAN traffic in parallel. That way you can check the interaction between two communication channels. The conformance testing solutions include both lower and upper tester implementation. The lower tester implementation is utilized for the real protocol testing based on 100 and 1000 base T1 and TX interfaces. The upper tester part enables exchange of UDP upper tester messages. TT Workbench performs control and configuration operation during test execution to realize the dynamic test automation. Just like for IVN component testing, you can also use Spirant Test Center virtually running on the ComTT appliance to generate Ethernet traffic. With the open source CanDev Studio software, you can generate CAN traffic and check in parallel for the function and performance of the devices on both channels. There are two scenarios that can be executed. The first one is gateway testing to check different Ethernet and CAN traffic interactions. The other one is ECU simulation, diagnostics, and analysis, whereby CanDev Studio and Spirant Test Center can be used to simulate other components that are a part of the in-vehicle network. Ethernet traffic can be generated with Spirant Test Center and combined with CAN bus traffic generated with CanDev Studio. At the same time, the received data traffic can be observed using the same tools respectively via other parts of the ComTT device. Now let's review what's in the test package. It contains the basic components like Spirant Test Center Virtual, AutoSAR, and Open Test Suites for conformance testing. The CanDev Studio for the CAN traffic analysis is open source software and can be installed on ComTT. The hardware includes four SFP modules for flexible usage and adaptation to the 100 and 1000 base T1 and TX interfaces and 16 CAN FD channels. The software pre-installed on ComTT are Spirant Test Center Virtual and TT Workbench Express. You can upgrade to TT Workbench Professional on demand. The available test suites are TT Suite Open and TT Suite AutoSAR, which are used for conformance testing to validate the TCP IP protocol stack you find in the TC8 specification. For functional testing, we use CanDev Studio for CAN traffic generation and monitoring over Socket CAN, as well as Wireshark for checking traffic. This type of traffic generation and monitoring can be extended on TT Workbench by the CAN plugin. But now let's move on to showing ComTT in action. Here is the development view of TT Workbench. In the project view, you see the projects of Open Test Suite for conformance testing. These projects include test cases for execution, as well as source code, which can be used later as a framework for test case modification and extension. When loading the test campaign, you can switch to the execution perspective to see the list showing all the test cases. Certain groups are used for certain test scenarios. These can also be checked in the property view, which is part of the test specification you find in the TC8 documentation. Before running the test, you have to configure the parameters. Then, you start the selected test case or group. When started, the test case will be triggered on ComTT, which is connected to the system under test. And here, in the graphical logging view, you can see the traffic and the events such as message exchanges, including the upper and lower tester messages. You can check the message content, 
and see where it differs from what was expected. At the end of the test case, you can see the automatic judgment of the test result. TT Workbench is a test automation tool, so you don't need to interfere in the test execution. This prevents human manual intervention errors and improves the test efficiency. The test logging file also includes a live capture file, which allows you to use Wireshark to check the traffic as a reference to the TT Workbench logging. You can use an SSH or RDP client to log into the ComTT appliance to access the installed applications and change the configuration. In the IVN component use case, we use the CAN Dev Studio to generate traffic based on a predefined DBC or CAN database file, which can also be found on the CAN Dev Studio GitHub. You're also able to monitor traffic in the sender viewer. These are the commands already sent out over the CAN interface. Here's the raw traffic that was sent out in binary format. When starting the Wireshark capture, we can see the traffic between ComTT and ECU. If we take off the CAN filter, both CAN and Ethernet traffic are visible. Doing so enables you to analyze the interaction between Ethernet and CAN bus traffic. Thank you for watching this overview on the Spirant ComTT appliance. For further information, please visit our website at spirant.com automotive. There you will find various assets like data sheets, playbooks, and automotive webinars. Please also feel free to contact us directly at support at spirant.com.